What do we mean when we say protect equal rights? Isn't that what we mean? For example, equal rights, protecting equal rights means there is no penalty for getting rich. Is there a penalty today for getting rich? Yeah, what do we call that? Well, not just taxes. I mean, everybody should pay taxes, but what kind of taxes? How about graduated income tax? The more you make, the higher the rate. What does that say about your property? If you're a wealthy person, what does that say about the sacredness of your property? It's less sacred than mine, a poor man. Isn't that what we're saying? I want to take a third of everything you make, but from a poor person, I'll only take a little bit. I might not even take anything of his property. You understand that the treating property differently here, right? If you want to have an income tax, wouldn't recommend it. The founders say don't do that. But if you want to have an income tax, at least it should be what? Level, say, say 10%. If a millionaire, person who makes a million dollars, pays 10% taxes, that's how much? 100,000. Person who earns uh, $10,000 pays 10%, that's how much? $1,000. Does the rich man pay more? Oh yes, because he makes more, but at the same rate. See, everybody's property is treated equally. That's what we're talking about here. Can't complain about that. A great example would be uh, uh, payment of tithing, right? What does tithe mean? Yeah. One tenth, ten percent. Whatever you earn is ten percent. See, that, that's a great example. Treating everybody's property the same. Anyway, okay? Equal rights means no one is locked into poverty. Everybody has the right, the opportunity to, to raise themselves up. Even if you were born in the ghettos, in the depths of poverty, you, you, you can lift yourself up. And many have done that, haven't they? Okay? Look at this one. Equal rights means no one should prevent you from what? Failing. Ooh, does that hurt? You want to have the right to fail? So you have to think twice on that one. You should all say what? Yes, I want the right to fail. Because really, if you don't have the right to fail, then you don't have the right to succeed. You always want to keep, and there's always people out there that want to keep you from failing. They want to guarantee a success, guarantee a, 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 a crop in farming. Crop subsidies, price supports, no matter what happens, we're going to pay you a certain amount. We'll even pay you not to farm, just so you can be successful. There's, do you know that that happens? Yeah. If everyone's rights are protected, then this concept, everyone could become wealthy. That's a great concept. Everyone could become wealthy. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to principle 15 on economics. So this formula was making America something that no country had ever experienced before. It was actually making America the most prosperous nation in the world. Once we settled these issues in the Civil War, during the latter part of the 1800s, the American, America experienced what kind of a revolution? What do we call that? the Industrial Revolution, right? And there were getting to be a lot of wealthy people. Americans became the best educated people. We were known as the freest people. You combine all those three elements, prosperous, educated, and free, and there's one other thing that the Americans proved themselves to be. What was it? the most generous. Is that because the government said you need to give this amount of money so we can help other people? No. It's because Americans said we have extra we will share with you. All voluntary, no force. The most generous people. Still are really. 